Uh, hello, my name's um, Angela Scott, and um, I work for Palmerston North Airport under the uh, Visit Development banner. So it's a privilege to be here today um, in the Tauru region, which is a really key area for us under the um, airport banner as well. So first of all, talking about um, why we live and work here in the Tauru under the social umbrella. For us, it was about lifestyle, and that has obviously come up quite a bit today. Um, schooling has come up as well. Um, people choose this area because uh, the schools are good. I've heard, and also the family aspect as well. Safety's come up, um, the feeling of community and sense of community is really important as well. So that was under social. Um, under infrastructure for why we um, live and work here in the Tararua, um, connectivity came up quite a few times as well. Um, the access to roading, the airport obviously, freight hub and also the ports. Um, we have obviously up the road with Napier and down in Wellington as well. And um, we also talked about with infrastructure, um, there's actually quite a bit in place, and that's been raised as well. Uh, you are doing a pretty good job at the moment. Um, so roading, rail, and water and waste is obviously um, doing pretty well as well. So that came up, obviously, with a lot of the other groups. Under the economic umbrella, um, what's been covered also, we talked about uh, diversity, so oil and gas, um, food innovation, agriculture, and also the Treaty of Waitangi settlements as well. And under connected rural economy, we Obviously, we talked about sustainability. There's been some different house price quotes when we were in around the country. Um, and also, as touched on earlier about um, being able to buy a farm here is obviously more, potentially more cheaper than other parts of the country. So sustainability and affordability came up as well. And one that was really refreshing to hear today also was about um, the potential for economic, sorry, for visit development, um, looking at events. Um, the gorge was, came up. Obviously, it's a great asset on our doorstep and also tourism opportunities as well, which are sitting here in the region that can be tapped into. It's sort of there in their raw sense and there's opportunities there for, um, to go further with that. Under, under environmental, uh, we talked about uh, rural and, and agricultural. Um, access to, to all those um, facilities. Um, it's productive, use of the land, climate. Talked about the rainfall. Um, but that's actually really key for this area from an agriculture point of view. Uh, we talked about, uh, under the rural umbrella, also about recreation. Uh, you know, you've got that playground for locals and also visitors for your hunting, your fishing, the Tarahura Forest Park, etc. as well. So for visitors and also visiting friends and relatives and international guests and um, domestic travel as well. There's also that perception out there, and we, we debated this for a little bit actually, about that whole clean, green image, and obviously Tourism New Zealand talks about the 100% pure umbrella. And um, we like to see ourselves as that sort of clean green image and um, that whole sustainability message came up as well. Um, under culture, we talked about the, uh, the sense of, of pride and that's come up a lot today as well. This community is very passionate, um, that real passionate community, sense of belonging. And the diversity, we've talked about the Scandinavian um, heritage, the, the multicultural heritage, uh, the iwi, um, and the fact that the community really celebrates that, which is fantastic. And um, also the feeling of connectiveness, um, being able to walk down the street and, and being able to know your neighbour and, and feel there's a sense of safety there and that whole, all cultures coming together. Our long-term vision for the Tarot District is looking at a strong, growing community. Youth was brought up quite a bit today. Uh, the fact that um, people go here for schooling, but then they go away and they don't come back. So it's about making sure that they want to come back and they are coming back into the community. Um, and also looking at um, connectivity. What came up today a lot was that Generation uh, Z who want to be connected instantly and the Wi-Fi conversation came up and broadband and that sort of thing as well. So it's um, strong growing communities but making sure there's the infrastructure there that the youth want to come back and um, thrive in this community. And also the growing population, whether it's the young, it's the, the grey power community, it's the business communities, etc. as well. And the other thing under the vision was um, opportunities um, in the area for education, talked about the business hubs, and also visitor development and, and tourism as well, and there's, there's plenty of opportunities for that. So areas for improvement, uh, if we were to change, sorry, if we were in charge, this is what we would do to make Tower a better place. Economic development, I'm sort of repeating myself because it has come up quite a bit today, but um, the business hub conversation, looking at visitors, uh, talked about the calendar of events, um, branding, brand identity. I love that word collaboration, that's so important, that one voice, one message. Uh, and understanding you know, who this, this wider community is, whether it's um, from a visitor point of view or a local pride point of view, and talking about infrastructure as well under economic development umbrella of, of the water the, um, and all the, the areas that, that bring that in as well. And um, under community for the area's improvement, 
that social uh, responsibility. We talked about health, technology, rural support, grey power came up as well. We have got that ageing population. There's opportunities there to talk to that sector. Education, really important. Uh, Generation Z, uh, we want to make sure they do come back here. There's job opportunities. And also the relationships um, also with um, the local iwi groups as well. So we believe the highest priorities for Tauru in the coming decade are employment and investment. So that's under looking at different technology. Uh, Wi-Fi has come up a lot today. So it's making sure those cable networks are there. So we do have that fast broadband connection. Education, really, really important. Uh, whether that's uh, uh, schooling age or looking at other mentoring, other programs down the track for um, business development. And also farming and retail as well. And the other one that's, that's come up as well today was the pride and sense of community, that, that one collective voice and, and sense of wanting to live in this area and how that's, um, that's communi communicated in the community and also out to the domestic market and also internationally as well. Mm -hmm.